Today, I'm only going to eat what I catch with this fishing rod and these two premium professional survival hands. Asterisk on the professional. We are going to be maneuvering from creek to creek, scavenging oh and fishing, and every meal slash snack has to come from the creek itself. As you can see, we are in the middle of creek number one. This could be our one and only if it provides. We have until noon tomorrow to not croak and uh, impress Bear Grylls wherever in the world he's at. Here comes survival first state. All right, let me not waste any time here. Let's get to work, man. We got some food to catch. This right here is something magical, man. This is what creek fishing dreams are made of. So if you guys can kind of see over that way, there's shallow rapids that kind of go around all these rocks and super shallow right then right here boom deep pool right after rapids very nice spot for these fish to hunker down in these warmer weathers and yeah it's just a good ambush point with the water flowing out there it's beautiful man it's like the disneyland of creek fishing right here i've not fished this creek in probably a year and we just had some super heavy rains two three days ago so it is a tiny bit clouded up but that kind of is cool because maybe it pushed the fish from up the creek down to this hole and they're just kind of holding out here maybe some trout all sorts of panfish maybe fall fish largemouth bass you just never freaking know man what could possibly be in here snakehead they're making their way everywhere around delaware right now so let me stop talking man let's get down uh we're gonna fish probably right over there let's see what's in this first spot it looks freaking good man all right let's get over here to the spot i had to go back to the car grab our secret weapon here for this first little spot now if you guys have been watching the channel here in the summertime i've just been loving creek fishing especially ever since we've been back in delaware it's just like you cast out here you literally never know what you could get i mean y'all know i just love fishing in general but creek fishing it's i don't know there's something special about it especially when you're using an ultralight rod like this like a smaller fish put up a good fight that looks muddy and dangerous i feel like i'm gonna slip on that and slip a freaking disc in my back oh gosh take the branch route and i mean as i said yeah it's been raining so it's gonna be kind of muddy the water doesn't look too bad though oh. all right here we go Ooh, ooh. she is pretty we have a loose mock light four pound fluorocarbon we have just a tiny little split shot and that goes down to very very tiny little hook this is honestly one of the best freaking methods for catching creek fish i mean y'all not freaking worms dude i'm uh, growing really fond of these tiny worms though i used to use big thick night crawlers but in these creeks these tiny little trout worms or red worms or whatever they're called look at that they're so wiggly there we go right there what could possibly not want to eat that you see what i'm saying though too this water it's, it's like got a little color to it a little stain but looks good this wiggler will be wiggling it has some scent to it too i like this rock this is my rock all right y'all ready first cast I literally got bit the first cast. <laughs> oh, there's definitely life here. Now, here's some guidelines for this fishing challenge. As I said, this is creek number one. We might not have to move creeks, but if we do, like I'm allowed to drive the vehicle. Like we're not stuck to this creek. Next, we can only take two fish of one species. So if we catch two red breasts, we cook them up. That's it. Red breast gonzo. Need to find another species of fish that we could possibly eat. So two red breasts, two bluegill, two fall fish, two trout. So there's like a cap on fish limits sort of thing. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what we're rocking with put that dude right there i love this too because it's in the shade right now it's just this looks so freaking nice there's something there's something first fish of the day now here's the uh hmm. see this is what we kind of kind of think about this is not the biggest red breast sunfish that is such a freaking beautiful fish though one of my favorite fish in the summertime these creeks around here would not be the same without these guys but See, here's my hand. I, hmm. I think we're gonna put him back. I think that I have confidence that we can get some better red breast sunfish. But thank you so much, buddy. Hopefully that's the case. That right there could prove to be a risky maneuver. Let's see if anything else is hiding out around here. Let me get it more towards that current. There we go. this tiny little split shot if we cast it over near the current it kind of just takes that worm and looks like a natural worm <laughs> floating down the freaking stream which i mean that happens a lot especially after it rains i mean you guys know when it rains all the worms go up on the sidewalks and they just get washed into the creeks and these fish oh dude there's two squirrels over on that that's a thick squirrel a few casts later this could be a bit concerning i haven't caught one nibble 
Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, what is this? <clears throat> Freaking allergies. What is that? Oh, okay. See, oh, okay, 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 okay. Second species of the freaking day, man. These always make the weirdest noises when you grab them. There you go. All right, I don't think I'm gonna be catching many of these. So uh, we're gonna put this dude in our inventory right there. Oh, actually, we are not, dang it. You see all those little black dots all over him? That is parasites. Darn it. Oh, wait, oh, oh, did I mention these hands are professional? All right, there he goes. Um, yeah. Technically, if you cook the fish, I don't, I don't really want to mess with parasites right now. So that is two fish that could have potentially saved, su su survived us, left to swim another day. I just don't want to take my chances with stuff like that. I forget what the, I think it's called flat, flatworms. Again, I'm sure maybe it's not too big of a deal. Maybe it's not life threatening, but what if it was? That would kind of suck. All right, let's try to really bomb that out there. If there's some bigger fish, I think they're gonna be hiding over in this current, just waiting for something like this. Oh my gosh. Wait a second, dude. That's a good fish, what is that? What the heck is this? No freaking way, no freaking way. Get over here. No freaking way. What? They're the, what? Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Never did I think it would come to this. Wait, that actually almost looks wild. What in the heck? That is beautiful, man. There's no way that fish is wild. They stock this creek with trout in the spring. <laughs> Dude, our first freaking fish of the day, first meal of the day, he's definitely swallowed that. It's going to be a freaking trout. This is one of the best, this is one of the top tier fish we could have put in our inventory right here. Not the biggest, but that <laughs> was freaking good, cool, dude. This could not have gone better at the beginning right there. You tell me, man, let me know. I mean, it has the markings like right here of like a, like a wild trout, but they definitely, there's no way they reproduce in these creeks, especially when the waters get super, super hot. That is so freaking sick. Oh. Professional hands. How's it going? Good. Just surviving in the wild. There's something. What the heck is that? Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, so we just freshly stored our inventory. We have one rainbow trout, which I, I just did not think we were gonna do that, especially in this creek. So that is freaking cool. And also that second fall fish. There's a, a lot of people coming around here. I, I don't know if somebody's gonna go swimming here or not. So we gotta take full advantage of this hole while we can. I'm just gonna cast around a little bit more with our worm and uh, try to be like Ezio, get a nice vantage point. This hole right here is providing. What is this? Oh no. Definitely not coming with us. Oh my goodness. That is the tiniest little red breast sunfish. Look at that little pip squeak. Oh. Oh. Whew. All right, still not up to par with the size. And I think strategically, I think we're gonna leave the red breast sunfish as an option because Generally, around summertime in these creeks, you know, redbreast is uh, pretty abundant and they're very beautiful, but these are definitely smaller. And I think maybe later, you know, if I'm in a pinch, that could kind of be a lifeline. We're big brain right here. Bear girls would be proud. For the most part though, I think that we're pretty good. I just want to cast around here a few more times to see if there's anything we're missing. As far as food goes though, I mean, we're kind of, we're doing not too bad. Oh. 
a little bit bigger. All right, so we're gonna take this guy as well. Not exactly sure. Just to let me know, I think that is a pumpkin seed. But there we go, man, that is the third fish. We're gonna put him in our inventory. Oh, it's toasty out here. I feel like a rotisserie chicken. So the cool thing about a challenge like this is like the endless opportunities are endless. We have three fish, haven't capped out on any species of fish. I think our first meal here is gonna be good, man. It's gonna be kind of a feasty, a feasty feast. As I delivered the fish to their safe spot, um, there are now people swimming in the hole. So we are going to go up creek and uh, have a little bit of change of game plan, but I have something I've been wanting to do for a while. We're gonna be using our hands and uh, see if we can get some more food out here. I'm gonna try to catch some crawfish. I've uh, kind of done this a few times before. I'm just gonna flip the rocks. And hopefully we get some tasty little buggers. And we don't break our ankle. Okay, so these crawfish are underwater, but I, when you're above water, they look so intimidating. Listen, man, I developed a new strategy, the plastic bag. All right, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. This first creek has been actually really awesome. We have a bunch of different stuff to eat. That is going to be our first meal of the day. But what I'm kind of thinking is that maybe we'll just do like two big ones in the 24 hour time span period. I think that'll maximize my time to like go out and actually catch stuff. And uh, I feel like if we do like too much cooking, then I'm just going to be cooking. So right now we're on this bridge. I just want to look around, see if anybody is down around here. Sometimes like in the late, winter months you see a bunch of sucker fish which we have not yet caught hmm anybody home it's 2 13 i have not eaten yet today creek spot Number two. That last place was awesome, but we got completely overrun by uh, small flailing children in the water. So we came over here, we did a little bit of a drive, and this is the second creek spot. It's actually freaking beautiful. We're on like a little island right now. And look at this. This is like the perfect sitting wood. I'm very hungry. It is 3.33. I definitely need some food. I bent over earlier to pick something up, and I was like, whoa, when I went back up. Let's not waste any time here. Chef for state. This is going to be his kitchen for the, uh, for this time all right so I just prepared everything here is our trout and we cut up the fall fish and then this is like look how tiny this is man this is the sunfish get out of here fly i just want to cut the stomach open okay yeah that's what i thought bunch of uh bugs and stuff this trout's been eating pretty cool so it's like kind of matching the hatch a little bit of worm flowing down the creek you know Down, 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 down. Well, this is truly beautiful. So we threw some, uh, what is this? Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning all over these fish. And this is just one of my favorite parts about being at the creek, just that like the babbling brook sound. It's, if you guys get a chance and if you guys have some creeks around, you do some creek fishing this summer, it doesn't matter if you just bring worms, it doesn't matter if you're fishing, just going out around creeks, like to me, it's just so relaxing and like therapeutic and stuff. But of course, like I, I gotta do some fishing. I'm gonna let these dudes cook on the one side and we're gonna do a quick flip and I'm keeping all that remains. Hopefully we're gonna be filming a future video 
with uh, like the heads of the fish and stuff. You guys are gonna see that. It's gonna be pretty cool. Again, shout out to this pan and the burner. It's done the job for a long time, but I think I've been saying this, man, with the catch coast. I want to upgrade to I think a flat top with maybe two different burners. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But it'd be cool to like put it on my truck bed or bring it out here and cook two things at once. Because after we cook the fish, man, we still have the old crawfish. And it's crazy because all right, we're emptying out our fish inventory right now. It's three different kinds of fish. It does not like equal <laughs> realistically that much food. So I mean, it's going to do the job. Again, I have not eaten all day. We're gonna need to catch something bigger tonight. We're not surviving, man. We're thriving. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to. All right, I think our fish lunch brunch winner. It's looking pretty good. I think that's done. I'm gonna put that on the sand. Turn this dude up a little bit. It's water nice and hot. Where the heck are my crawfish? All right, I'm actually proud of that one. That's a solid one. Let's throw that in and then boom. Thank you, sir. This is gonna be interesting for the crawfish because I'm just kind of gonna throw them in. Not really any seasonings. Just see how the natural taste is. Cause like think about it. Every time I've ever eaten crawfish, whether it's in Louisiana or we've done some crawfish boils here and there, it's always like the water is so seasoned and stuff. Let's go for a natural taste, I guess. <laughs> Look at this stick too. This is a very nice stick. This is like the stick that the Tuscan Raiders make their big thingy out of. Boom. All right, well I kind of dirtied my sitting long here a little bit. I think it should be fine, just not the best ambiance uh, meal wise. So let me show you what we got here. Now again, does it look the best presentation wise? Probably not. There we go, Ed. That's a fish. We'll try each one individually. Get some health energy bars back up and then two crawl diddly dads right there. Very hot water. Boom. All right, so first we've got the trout. Uh, just a big fillets. Let's give, let's give that a shot real quick. Really cannot go wrong. Look at that. Can't go wrong with trout, man. Got a little bit of spice. Very nice. I think this is the fall fish. Definitely doesn't look the best uh, presentation. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, don't be coming for me. I'm coming for you one of these days. I don't know if I like it as much as the trout. Where are the, oh, here we go. Super. Tiny. I mean, bluegill and sunfish in general are just very underrated eating fish. I think the people who eat them, you know. Mm. It's got a bit of a char on it, but I'm happy right now, dude. I'd say we're doing pretty freaking good. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of this fish. Oh, let me try one of these crawl dead crawl did crawfish. Let me know. You guys say crawfish, crawl dad. I'm trying to like balance y'all right there. So what I believe is that you twist the tail, get that meat out. Just like that. That's good. I, I could have caught a bit more of it. See, we didn't have a limit on the crawfish. It was just on the fish fish, like species wise. We could have taken some more crawfish probably, I guess. All right, I got one more of those. I'm gonna eat these fish. And then I kind of want to wait around here and explore this creek. <sighs> I don't know, man. I got a good feeling. All right, let's get to it. Wow, this water is freaking gorgeous. It'd be interesting to see too, because this is a stream as well where they stock trout certain times of the year. Maybe we could find possibly, oh my goodness. That looks freaking good. It is a lot of it later now in the day too. So we gotta start preparing for our last and final meal possibly right, let's retie this here by the way if you guys really are enjoying this video let me know down in the comments below or go down there also hit that thumbs up button the more thumbs up means that you know i think you guys like the videos like more and i'll do more stuff like this man let's see if this hole's got anybody hiding out also man if you do enjoy the videos make sure to go down there if you're not already hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload we're going crazy this summer This is super interesting, like this little current pocket right here. Oh no, that's a snag. Dang it. Okay, so I just lost my hook. And like, yeah, okay, whatever, it's just a hook. That was my uh, last hook. We're gonna have to do something different here. I think we're switching from 
Worms, which is probably the best bait to use out here too. Artificial, but I don't really know what kind of artificial I have in the bag. So I think things are about to get kind of interesting. Okay, so here's what I found in my bag. I actually have a fly fishing kit, right? I'm wondering if I put on, like look at this. It looks nice and shiny. This threw a complete wrench in my road. So if you guys saw that fly fishing video or any fly fishing videos on the channel, I mean, there's not very many of them. I'm not good at fly fishing. I'm still trying to understand the art and you really can't fly fish with a spinning rod. Oh, wait, what am I doing? So I think I'm just gonna tie the fly on. Then similar to the worm, I mean, instead of a live worm, we're just gonna have a fake fly that's just kind of getting dragged behind this guy, which is just a little split shot. Is that going to work? I don't know. I mean, we could always switch creeks too. I've got some more stuff in my truck. No more hooks, but I've got like spinners and stuff. So yeah, again, that, that just threw a big old wrench in my plans. Never done this before. Can we float this without getting snagged on what we just got snagged on? Maybe try to catch something. Wait a second. Is this where my hook went? Do you see a hook? Ooh, what is that thing? What the freak was that? It was like a weird spider dude. Okay. Well, I'm sure we done spooked everything if it's even anything in here. All right. What am I doing? When I'm out here doing these fishing videos or just fishing in general, sometimes I'm so focused on the fishing that like I don't actually just look around me. Like this is absolutely so cool to just be out here. I was just showing that island talking about how I lost my hook. Look at this. Goes down there, this dude fishing over there. This is just, I don't, I don't know. Let's feel lucky, you know, to be alive and have the opportunity to come out, do some fishing. This is definitely Snag City. It almost just happened again. All right, we are now at the next spot. Look at this. So we have rapids going into uh, slower moving water, bridge up there, slowly moving deeper pocket over there. It's not a nice little creek spot. We came here a couple videos ago and uh, this was also like one of my fishing spots back in the day. By the way, if you're watching this video and you're not too familiar with the channel, I'm in Delaware right now, the first state, and this is actually where I grew up. I actually live full time in an RV, but we came back to Delaware and we're doing some nice old Delaware. Look at this, big freaking mess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Must have really rained, that was not here the last time. But yeah, we're doing some Delaware fishing. All right, I'm taking this fly off. I was just seeing if there's any little fish right near this rocker here. I got something out of my car. I think that this could be pretty cool. Last time I uh, fished here, I knew I had to come back because I swear I saw some trout. Hello. And uh, if they're in here, well, not with the leaf on it, but this uh, could be pretty good lore. <clears throat> now, aside from just trout, oh boy, in this water there's a bunch of different stuff that could possibly, potentially hit some lures, like big old smallmouth, I mean, maybe not super big, but for this creek, like, they get kind of chunky, largemouth bass, possibly fallfish, uh, red breast, different sunfish, really the world is endless, there's eel in here. It's pretty interesting too because this creek, compared to all the other ones we've fished so far today, is very muddy. Like there's not very good clarity at all, which could be good for the spinner. Puts off, oh, like a nice vibration. Dude, I just got chills sent through my whole body. I think I snagged a rock right there. <sighs> that rock bit pretty hard. Oh my gosh, not going that way. Giant snake right there. We'll stand from the bank. Sheesh. So 
saw a pretty big snake last time I was here too. It was going through the water. I wonder if they're homies. So we made a slight gear change uh, using a little bit of heavier rod and good old OG Ned rig. I'm just gonna cast around and this, see all this like foamy stuff not really moving too much. Maybe there's something hiding out. There's a fish. Oh. That was a fish. There's actually a smallie. That's pretty cool to catch out here. Don't think I would have eaten a smallie. That would have been really cool to get up though. That's a good sign though. There's some fish hanging out here. I like that. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come up here. What is it? Ooh, wow. Why is it so dark? Whoa. All right. What species is that out of the day? Beautiful smallmouth bass. Now, we're not going to be eating these. I just have too much love, and we don't really get, you know, a ton of smallies in this creek, or especially in Delaware in general. Like, you know, they don't get super huge like uh, they do in some other states. Especially this creek, like that's a, a solid small for this creek. He was literally hiding right over this current break. Let's see if anybody else is over there. Oh, that was a snag. All right, we got that snagged. It seems to be a theme here. But we're actually going to try this, dude. Crawfish style lure. I actually found this in the creek on a stick wrapped around a stick in uh tennessee when we were doing those videos usually these crankbaits have crazy action and they're just like a great creek fishing lure so i'm gonna toss this around probably get it snagged our worms uh are not doing too hot anymore it got to like 90 something degrees and they just kind of yeah but i went through my stuff and actually found a jig head that hopefully is small enough i i have, I have an idea it's getting to crunch time. The sun is kind of starting to go down pretty well. You can kind of tell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Definitely needs something. Let's put this right here. I tried to do this earlier with the fly. Right next to these rocks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, I don't know what number species this is for the day. They're coming home with me. That is a beautiful little rock bass. Not very sizable, but if we can get a few of these. Now they're called rock bass because they hide in the rocks. So we put it right next to the rocks here. All right, look at this, man. This is actually crazy. So I went down to like near the waterfall and I casted and it went right into a tree. And then I, tch, tch, tch. and then when it, right when it dropped down, this rock bass, and just to compare the two, that's the one we just caught. It's definitely bigger. I was kind of going for the Hail Mary, trying to hit a trout. I, I don't know. We got a rock bass. I'm gonna cut them up. Let's cook them up real quick. All right, y'all, here we go. Got them seasoned up. Just gonna turn this on. Always freaks me out starting that. <laughs> That's probably good like that. And boom. Gotta say, man, it is a freaking beautiful night. Man, it's just been a fun day of fishing, honestly. Oh, it's starting to burn a little bit. Again, let me know down in the comments below if you guys wanna see more videos like this. I love the catching cooks, especially outdoors and uh, doing challenges like this, even though they're not easy. I mean, it's about to be sunset, and <laughs> realistically, we really haven't eaten too much today, but can't complain though. I mean, we caught so many different species of fish, traveled a bunch of different creeks, and uh, I mean, this, how do you know it's gonna taste good? And there she blows, turn this thing off. I'm not gonna lie, I burnt this pan to all heck between, I don't know how many catch and cooks we've done. Probably super freaking hot. Oh gosh. Freshly caught rock bass. 
Tastes like victory. Ooh, and look at this. Right by where I was just cooking, somebody's trout magnet jig head. I, I need all the freaking fishing gear I could get, man. I'm going to use this. Thank you to whoever lost that. Oh, there's my pinky. Hello. It is the next day. I survived. Take that, Gordon Ramsay. You want to know just where...